Hey there guys, today I'll walk you through the first steps in Bactopia, the game about large adventures on a tiny scale. This is our character creation screen. From here I can take the side of either the hegemony on the right hand side or the anterium on the left. The anterium, formed as a democratic alliance, are represented by the ants, butterflies and fire ants. The hegemony, driven by force and authority, is comprised of the ladybugs, mantises and they're ruled by the iron fist race, the bee. When it comes to being a leader, I'll bring the honey, you bring the milk. The bee is clearly in charge. She represents the noble class, a powerful spellcaster. She's capable of inflicting range damage or can be a reliable healer by the use of pheromones and enzymes. Also, she can specialize in crowd control. I'll have what she's having. The ladybugs represent the scout class, a hybrid between a noble and a soldier. They're able to go from melee damage to long range damage and can be outstanding healers or take the role of the DPS considering their spec tree. I really lost my head over you, girl. The soldier class. For the hegemony, this is the natural born warrior. Master of melee combat, he can play the role of a tank or a heavy DPS. He's able to wear the heaviest armors in game and may carry most weapons. As with all races in Bactopia, the Mantis has his specific racial abilities, giving him the power to stun his opponents and have a great attack right from the start. I'll go ahead and name him Manzilla. Once I click the check button, I should be taken to my character list. My previously created characters are here, and Manzilla is already selected. All that I have left to do is enter the realm. I'm at the gate. This is the hegemony town, Fort Salter. I'll move around a bit, so you can see how my character looks like in the game. Some of my friends have already joined. They rolled ladybugs and bees. Besides the usual chat, Players may interact by great. performing emotes on each other, for saying hi, laughing, asking to attack. I like my Ooh, nails hubba, submissive hubba, hubba. and or in perform leather. the occasional flirt. Glory to the I'll grab the first quest I have in this area. Upon arrival, I shall be rewarded with 30,000 crude well, pollen once I reach my class trainer. This is me. On the left, I have my available slots. I may equip items on the head, shoulders, chest, bracers, and feet. On the right, I have my attributes, like my hit points, my weapon damage, or my defense properties. The generic tier seems to be waiting for me. One must first I'll deliver the quest and get my just rewards. Tamarkan is the weapon vendor of the town. My bag opened on the right hand side. It is empty for the moment. I'll browse a bit through his goods. He has a good range of common, uncommon, rare, and epic items for sale. The premium mace has a good damage for its level requirement, and I seem to have enough refined pollen to buy it. Easy purchase. Why is it chosen? I'll equip it by dragging it on my main hand slot. My stats have improved, and I may be on my way. Another quest is asking me to inflict damage on the target dummies in town. They're located on the top side of the fort. They can be used to check how certain buff rotations may help improve the damage or healing performed on my target. There are four in this town of levels 10 to 40. I'm currently level 30, so hitting this dummy may not always be efficient. A miss. I may have more luck on something of my own. There it is. On other Quest complete! Yeah. The last quest for today involves more players, as I could not do it alone. It is given by the Swarm Warlord Genki. He is waiting for me. Entitled A Paragon, the quest demands of me to kill five Anterium invaders. As with all quests, the objectives are displayed on the right hand side of the screen. 
Some of my friends will join to help. The invaders have aggroed me. Because they attack only in melee, I must keep the distance as often as I can. But I must also engage them in close combat due to my Mantis' short attack range. Each corpse may have some nice loot for my bag. I left that common item there. I'll try casting the heart of Kitten from my spell. It will increase my armor. It is enabled. The cooldown has started. There are plenty of other features, like enrolling in ranked battlegrounds against other players in various setups like deathmatch or capture the flag. Also, the character may specialize using the evolution system. He may spend talent points to learn new abilities to help himself or the party he is in. But the best part is that this is fully browser-based. No download, no installation, no requirements. You can play this on your Android tablet, iPad, desktop, laptop computer, even a gaming console. This is Batovia, the first MMO to be available everywhere. Ah!